Hello, I'm John Frost with Topspin Tennis. In this video, I'm going to show you some magic moves on how to knife your slice backhand. Enjoy the video. All right, another competition awakening. Playing tennis, got away from something on my slice backhand. Want to share it with you. What I wasn't doing was, I wasn't getting into the ideal position with my racket face. I heard a tip a long time ago, which I love. It's like, when you're going to prep with this incoming ball, especially at the higher levels, when the incoming speeds are really, really fast, maybe a heavier ball, what you wanna do is almost pretend like you're gonna show yourself the time. So you look here, the wrist position does this, and you almost want so you can see the time of day. Watch what that does with the racket angle. It actually will open the racket face a little more. So watch again, boom. If I do this on my slice backhand, this is gonna open up my racket face. I can hold the ball a little longer because I have that face open. My friend Oscar Wagner talked about almost feeling that ball get past the hand. A lot of us have a tendency like we rush and we become disconnected. If you can keep, get in this position, so show yourself the time, let that ball get past that hand, face is open, when you accelerate, you are absolutely going to knife that slice backhand. So what I'm gonna do is, got the slinger bag, I'm gonna show you some of my slice backhands. I've been doing this and it's been so good for my game. I have a one hand backhand, so I know the majority of the time my opponents are going to my backhand side. So I had to figure out a way to neutralize their shots. And I can, I can come over the top and hit top spin, but the slice can be just another way to give them a different look, right? Kind of like Paris Hilton in her wardrobe, different looks for different days, right? You don't want to give them the same look every day. That's boring. So we got some top spin, we got some slice. I'm gonna show you how to knife your slice backhand. Enjoy. Got the slinger bag. These balls are gonna be coming in. I'm gonna show the time. I wanna see that time, right? Open up that racket angle. I'm gonna feel as if that ball's getting past my hand. Let's show you what it looks like from the side. Show the time. I almost feel, hit the cone. It forces me to really accelerate too. Face is open, so there's a good chance that ball's not gonna go into the net. If I wanna go cross court, then I'll just get more to the outside of the ball. So cross court, just really knifing that ball. Trying to feel as if I'm gonna go right through that first floor, the first floor of the house, which is about one to three feet above the net. That first floor is a la Chuck Tomlin and John Carpenter of CTM. Grip tension on a scale of one to 10. Grip tension's about a two right now with my, with my grip. That one felt really good. Really hold the ball. That one popped up a little bit. Hey, one other little golden nugget here. If you don't have a slice backhand, make sure you learn it quickly. The reason being is, if I can start using that shot early in a match, it's gonna set up my drop shot later on. So, if you're really good, you can start disguising the shot, right? Rather, as opposed to a drive or a float slice, once in a while I can hit that dropper as well. So you're really gonna keep them off balance and guessing if you can incorporate that slice backhand early. All right, let's show you a few shots from the back. Got four targets, two deep targets and two short targets. I'm really gonna work on going to those deep targets here. Make sure we show that time, right? Open up that face. I'm gonna find that ball and really knife it. Make sure that weight's forward, it helps, it really does help to get that, that right leg and that shoulder, lean the right shoulder into the ball. That one I rushed, I didn't let it get past my hand. Let it get past, feel like get past that hand. I 
going through that first or second floor. Let's go down the line. I got to hold the ball a little longer, position myself a little different. A little tougher here. I try not to over hit this one. That one I was early again. You can see how I kind of leaned. There, you got to really hold the ball. That felt good. All right, now what I'm gonna do is throw in some drives and some drops. See if you can tell what I'm gonna hit. That one got back on me. Short, way short. That felt good. A lot of feel, really pulled down on that ball. Really, I feel like I'm pulling down the lampshade here, like boom, pull down for that drop shot. Pull down. That one got a little deep. See this one right there. Drive. Not enough margin there. Got to start it inside a little more. That was better. All right, so there you have it. The sliced backhand, how to knife, magic move, show the time. Don't be afraid to open that racket angle. You need a continental grip. If you don't have that continental grip, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. Hey, if you like the video, hit that like button that subscribe button, that notification bell. If you really like the video and my haircut, make sure you share it with some friends, some coaches. I'm hoping you're enjoying the content. Thank you so much for your support. Have a great day.